Hi there, it's Jason Blackman here, resident zero expert. I'm an accountant and a bookkeeper from Lewis in East Sussex. And uh, my software of choice, as you can probably tell, is zero. If you have any questions about anything you'd like to ask me at all, or indeed about accountancy and bookkeeping, or bookkeeping on zero even, and then click on the link in the description. You'll come straight through to my contact page and you can ask me whatever you would like to ask me. So in this short clip, I'm just going to show you five ways the Zero dashboard can help you run your business. Now I'm on the demo company here, and uh, if you've got bank feed set up, which I would highly recommend you get automatic bank feed set up, then every day into the dashboard, this will feed in here. Your new items will come up here, and in this case, we've got 29 new items, so you can keep a constant check on it. So the first way in which I would say it really, really helps you to run your business is every day you can look at the dashboard and see how many new items have come in. And you can literally click on that and you can start to reconcile them. And if you do that on a daily basis, then um, you're always going to have up-to-date bookkeeping. So that's the first thing I would always look at on the dashboard is this little blue bar here, how many items need reconciling, and if you can, do it straight away. Now the second thing is the statement balance here. Now, Xero's bank feeds are brilliant, but sometimes they can go wrong. I've seen them go wrong, they sometimes miss transactions, they sometimes duplicate them. So always check that this balance here, the statement balance in this case as at 27th of May, make sure that that figure agrees with your actual bank statement itself. It's really, really important you do that. Um, I've seen lots of clients merrily go along their way, um, just leaving the statement balance as it is, and it doesn't agree with the actual bank statement when I come to do their accounts. So make sure, whether it's weekly, fortnightly, or daily if you want to, always make sure this agrees. Another scenario I came across recently was I took over a client's bookkeeping on zero, and the previous bookkeeper hadn't entered the opening bank balance. So this balance here was about £11,000 out. So if you're trying to run your business from this screen, then you always want this to be the same as your bank statement figure. So please, please, please check that. And if it's not the same, then you, it does need investigating. Now, the third way um, Zero Dashboard really helps you run your business is the account watch list. Now, this is really, really handy because you can put whatever nominal accounts you want in this list and you can keep an eye on them every single time you log into Zero. So, for example, this one shows advertising and marketing, and you'll see when I move over that, um, it becomes a clickable link. So, if you click on that, it will um, take me to the advertising and marketing screen and it says in May we spent $7,044.79. And if you want to go even further, you can click on that figure and it will actually show you the invoices that relate to that figure. So that's really, really useful. Um, the fourth thing is this section here, invoices owed to you. So this is all your customers, um, how much they owe you. What's most important is uh, the awaiting payment. So again, it will move to a, it will become, sorry, a clickable link. So you can click on um, the awaiting payment invoices and you'll then see at a glance, everyone that owes you money. And if you want to sort it by due date, which is really handy, you can move your mouse over to due date. Again, it becomes a clickable link. You can click on that and the oldest invoices will be at the top. So if you're if you're on an invoice chasing uh, run, then uh, you'll know to start at the top of the list. So again, that's really, really handy. That's everyone that owes you money. And finally, the opposite end of the spectrum, the bills you need to pay. So again, you'll see awaiting payment here becomes a clickable link. You can click on that, 15 awaiting payment in this case. And once again, what you can do is you can click on the due date column. And once again, it will show the oldest invoice first. So we can see here, um, we've got Swanston Security, which is due 26th of March. Um, and that's the oldest, uh, oldest, the oldest due date on this list. So it's really, really handy if you're going through to pay your bills and you want to pay the most outstanding one first. So there we go. That's the five ways that I would say the Zero dashboard really does help. And obviously it's imperative that your information is correct. So if you've got your bank feed set up, the first um, item you want to look at is the reconcile items and you want to try and do that every day. Um, the second is the statement balance. Make sure that agrees to your bank statement. Make sure that's the actual correct balance. Otherwise, it's not much use to you. The account watch list can be really handy to see how much you've spent on any particular nominal codes. Um, the invoice is owed to you, which is number four. This is all the money that's owed to you. And the awaiting payment is the, the most handy to look at. 
and the bills you need to pay. Again, the awaiting payment section is where you find all your bills that need paying. So the Zero dashboard, I really like it. It's really clean, it's really crisp, and it can provide you with a lot of useful information. So I hope that's been helpful. I produce a Zero clip every week, and if you'd like to contact me, use my use the link in the description, and it will come straight through to my contact page. I'm an accountant, and I'm a bookkeeper from Lewis in Sussex, and Zero is my software of choice. So please do ask me anything you would like to regarding bookkeeping, accounting, Zero tax, VAT, you name it. Just ask me. Thanks very much for watching. Hope it's been helpful and I'll see you again soon.